Hi, I'm Kara Clark, and we're so excited to have with us Congressman Mark Amaday representing Nevada's 2nd Congressional District. Congressman Amaday, thanks again for speaking to the Chamber. You've spoken to us, I don't know how many years, and it's always been great. Thanks for the invite. It's always good to see you guys, Kara. So, one of the things you talked about is I-11, and you know that's one of the Chamber's key issues. Yep. Uh, and, and you know, once we get it to Phoenix, where does it go up north? What are some of your perspectives on that? Well, I think it's people are pretty, it's going to head towards Tomo Pine. They've already got a, a bunch of road that, that would fit the bill nicely to Mercury. Um, there's not much uh, argument about what happens in Tonopah, but as you get from Tonopah to Winnemucca, uh, there's some discussion because you got a Navy base in Fallon and, and some other things like that. So um, that's where I think probably most of the rooting discussion will be once we get out of Clark County. One of the other areas that you brought up is healthcare, and thank you for the shout out to the Chamber about our association healthcare plans. Um, what's really the dialogue on Capitol Hill right now? Will we ever get the Affordable Care Act fixed? You know, I, I think we will, but it'll be a slow process, which is why what the Chamber did was such a leadership move and outstanding to say, well, you folks are figuring that out with your political talking points. We're going to try to do something that makes a difference for people's health care insurance plans in Nevada. So, I mean, hats off. The Chamber has been a phenomenal leader in the state um, and in the nation, too. Uh, and so hopefully that will take some of the pressure off of, uh, off of the folks that are, uh, you know, bringing their hands about, oh, my God, I might have to vote on something on health care. It's like, hey, some of these solutions are not hard, and, and we should have already had them going. So as a congressman, um, you've been here for several sessions. What are you seeing on the Hill? Is there more of a desire to work together, or are you seeing it being even more polarized? You know, um, until recently, I would have said it's business as usual, phenomenally political, phenomenally superficial, everything about the talking point culture. But I don't know, the last couple of months, it's like, mm, maybe there's some potential there to do something. We'll see. The next couple of months will tell. Um, and I hope so, because I think people of, of all political persuasions are tired of just constant political bakery and, and, and no results. And what are some, what's an update on one of your top priorities that impacts Nevada? Well, it's lands built in Nevada. It's been 21 years since the Southern Nevada Public Lands Management Act uh, came into effect. So we're doing some, uh, I think this, in this Congress, probably next year, you're going to get a Clark County lands bill, which, uh, which will tune up the... Uh, if, uh, Southern Nevada Public Lands Management Act, as well as the Nellis Creek stuff, the Fallon stuff in the north, and some other county stuff. So, in a state that uh, as big of the pie as is federal in terms of land ownership, that's a big deal whether you live in Las Vegas, whether you live in Winnemucca, or wherever. So, I'm looking forward to a chance to maybe clear the decks of a lot of those issues for everybody in the state. Wonderful. We look forward to working with you on that issue. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yep.